or Hasidim, why it is the light of the mercy and the fidelity of God. You realize that when we talk about the infinite light of God, there is an ability that John is showing for you. Know, he shows that God is light, God is love. When we talk about the different characteristics and principles, we like to jump into the general idea of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, mercy, fidelity, faithfulness. You want to so forth that foundation of the kingdom of heaven. So when we talk about the Or Hasidim, Or Fukma, Or Benon, to have light of understanding actually shows the way that David saw the world. You see, David, when he started to look at this, it was to show that it wasn't simply to have understanding, but it was the light that was given into his life. What he saw was his entire life before him, so he knew how to change it. God was able to put sin in front of him so he didn't repeat it, but he was also able to show forth the righteousness and the blessings that come forth from that. And we end up having it. It's a light of fidelity. But furthermore, it is also to be able to understand that David, David would say, what he ends up seeing is actually his life is given to the Lord. My invitation for you is to give your life to the Lord as well. But if you understand it, then there is also eternity that's given to you. You have a new life, a life that sows forth in the creation of his person, the greatness of God. We end up having a new ability, a new love, a new passion. We have the Creator Himself that work within us. We dwell with one and the same within the same spirit. You and I are one of the Father. That connection, that's the whole idea of emanation. That's the ultimate goal. When we start to look at the teachings they have in Islam, they teach about this ascension process. You hear Jacob climbing the ladder. It's the whole idea. We talk about the master ladder of all she told. It's a master of a good name. To build that and to connect with it is actually to then therefore understand that if I am in this kingdom, we have to set a spiritual foundation. We have to have that victory. Build forth glory and understand that wisdom and knowledge builds it to the glory of God. We take the action necessary within this world to be able to create that. We form it with that creation, with all of those characteristics, with the strength of God. And then you are therefore connected with the eternal and the living God. It is a personal relationship with our Creator. You build this every day, and God gives that to you because of love, because of passion. We end up seeing it. And when you connect to it and you can share it with others, well, it's like giving the entire world to someone, giving them rebirth, a new opportunity, putting light in place of darkness, mercy in place of condemnation, where there's hatred, so joy, give peace. And because of that, you receive the kingdom. My prayer for you today is that you receive Jesus Christ, that you confess Jesus as Lord, and that you have a new understanding and the faithfulness of the Lord for you, for your family, and that you connect with them, that you have a personal relationship with the Savior. I want to give you an invitation. Join us online this Sunday at the International Ministry Online. Find us at the name of Jesus TV. Jesus loves you, and I want you to be God bless. God bless you. I'll see you.